How did Ellis and Davy classify fracture in 1960? They classified into nine classes. So class one denotes enamel fracture alone. That is, it is not going to involve dentin or pulp. Only the enamel. What is class two? The fracture line involves. enamel and dentin but not the pulp so without pulp exposure if the fracture line is going to involve enamel and dentin it is class 2 ls and davy classification what is class 3 so as you guess when the fracture line involves enamel dentin along with pulp exposure it is class 3 classification here the tooth is vital to any kind of vitality tests done In class 4 the tooth has turned out to be non vital to any kind of vitality test as a result of trauma with or without loss of crown so what will be class 5 the tooth is missing can you see it is avulsed it is displaced from the socket it is no more in the socket due to trauma so that type of fracture that type of trauma is called avulsion and that forms the class 5 of ls and davy what is class 6 in class 6 there is no fracture of crown but only root is involved root fracture without involvement of crown structure it forms class 6 of ls and davy what is class 7 it is the displacement of the tooth due to trauma without fracture of either crown or root only the displacement is seen the tooth can be intruded extruded or just displaced it is class 7 in class 8 you can see the crown the total portion of the crown is missing so class 8 is loss of crown and mass in fully root is still existent in the socket that type is class 8 ls and davy fracture what is class 9 it is any of the above which happens to a deciduous tooth it forms class 9 fracture so we saw all the nine classes of ls and davy types of fracture let us recap them a bit as we saw let us start from class 1 class 1 is enamel fracture class 2 is enamel and dentin fracture without pulp exposure class 3 is enamel dentin with pulp exposure class 4 non vital due to trauma class 5 is avulsion class 6 root fracture class 7 is displacement class 8 crown and mass and 9 is deciduous tooth hope you liked it see you soon in the next video of 5 minute dentistry